hatches. Secure all loose packages. Captain, this doesn't look good. I can't believe we made it. I've never seen a storm like that. Well, I've been a captain for 20 years, and I haven't either. Pretty sure we did, but let me count. Who's missing? It looks like all the passengers are here. What about the crew? Well, that's just me and my first mate. Billy! Did anyone see him after the boat went down? No. No, I didn't see you. If anything happened to him, I'll never forgive myself. I couldn't have said that. SS Mango without him. Billy! 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 Oh, here you are. Billy, you scared me. I thought we lost you. Where have you been? I was so busy thinking. I got lost. I would try to remember something that I was supposed to do, but I forgot. Well, whatever it was, it isn't important now, Billy. Why don't you head back to the crash site and see what's salvageable from the mango? Ah, uh, Captain. The cruise of a lifetime. Celebrate your Christmas on the biggest cruise in the Caribbean, the Yuletide. One minute we're seeing Christmas crows on the cruise ship with thousands of people. Next we get on a tiny boat and get shipwrecked. It's all my fault. I'm the one that saw the brochure. The fabulous charter yacht, the SS Mango, will take you and your ten lucky companions on a shopping excursion to Christmas Island. You'll remember forever. You gotta give them credit. They nailed the last part. Now, hey there, you sad little rain clouds. Cheer up. Looks like we got a bad case of the Mondays. It's Friday. Who are all these sad little people? Who are you? You know who I am. I'm Mandy, and this is Jessica. We're the ship's cruise directors. We have the privilege to make sure everybody has a super-duper wonderful time on the Yuletide. Well, Jess well, Jessica and Mandy, the first part, shopping on Christmas Island, was great, but the second part, the shipwreck, not so much. But now you're getting a super free, wonderful tour of a primitive island. So how long before you think they'll realize we're missing? Sure, sure enough, by 7 o'clock, they'll know something's wrong. What's so special about that? That's when the big Christmas show on the Yuletide is supposed to start. Emma, Sophie, and Trent are actors and musicians and stars of our Christmas show. Don't worry, people. You're not going to miss the show. As soon as the storm hit, I had Billy send an SOS with our position. We'll be rescued in no time. Just to be extra careful, we should probably make some preparations. Hey, this might even give us a little extra time to rehearse for the Christmas show. Good point, so if we could always use more rehearsal. First, I think we should break up into teams and forage for food, build shelter, and look for supplies. What can you three do to help? I'm Chloe, and this is Olivia and Mason. We're firefighters from the Moy on Christmas vacation, or we were. Perfect. I need you three to look for supplies. Wood from the mango likely washed up on shore. Maybe some of our backpacks and packages, too. Captain, are you sure you don't want the firefighters to forage for food? Not when we have musicians. Musicians know what it's like to be starving. We got it. Who are you? I'm Jasmine. I'm, I'm the ship's drama troupe. Are you an actor or a musician? Neither. I'm the ship's mom. A mime? Come stand over here. And what do you want me to do, Captain? I really can't think of a thing for a mine to do. Why don't you just stand right there? And do nothing? But, Captain, a mime is a terrible thing to waste. I just can't do nothing. 
Oh, yes, you can. I just, in case you're in a glass box. Captain, I'm a building contractor. Name's Logan. You gave me the right materials, and I'll have a shelter built by nightfall. You'll get them. Come on, everyone. By tonight, just on the off chance the rescuers haven't found us yet, we'll have shelter, food, and water. I just found a big crate of canned food that washed up on shore. I hope it's pizza. It's tuna! Ugh. We're saved, we're saved. Look! No, I found mangoes. Wow, we're making some progress here. If we really did have to be stuck on this island for a little while, it might not be so bad. Captain, are you starting a fire festival with marshmallows? What a super idea. No, Mandy, I'm trying to get a signal fire going in case the rescuers aren't sure what side of the island they are when we get here. But I'm afraid all the matches and wood are waterlogged. Captain, Captain, great news. What is it, Billy? Are the rescuers here? No, but I finally remembered what I forgot. I forgot to send the SOS when the storm hit. Oh, oh no, Billy. I'm so relieved. That was driving me crazy. No SOS? No rescuers? No problem. I already got that taken care of. I just found one bottle that washed up on shore. A message in a bottle? It's already floating away. Did you write down our position accurately? Of course I did, got it right here. Help crew and passengers of SS Bingo shipwreck, need rescue. I mean, there's a latitude and longitude, check it yourself. And what did you put in the bottle? What do you mean, the message right here? Uh, that exact one? Yeah, you write the message, cork the bottle, throw the bottle into the ocean, then put the message in the bottle. Oh no. You know, the proper procedure for a message in the bottle is to put the message in the bottle before you throw it in the water. I Who should know. Who are you? The name's Johnny. Johnny Coconut. 
I'm what you call the resident of this island. Resident? You live here on purpose? On purpose? No. Out of no other choice. I was sailing around the world solo in my sailboat when I got into a ferocious storm. Been here ever since. How long have you been here? Well, I'm not too sure, really. I left in 1998. Think I'll make it home before 2000? Oh, no. Is your name really Johnny Coconut? That's just the sipperest, sipperest name. You are just a hoot. I must say, I never thought this day would come. I can't believe I'm finally being rescued. Well, Johnny, hate to break it to you, but we may be just as lost as you are. We thought we'd be getting rescued any minute, but now we're not so sure. Oh, I hope we can get back to the ship before Christmas. My whole family's waiting on me. We brought our stockings on the cruise and everything. So we really might miss Christmas. No big Christmas show? No big Christmas dinner? No decorations, no Christmas trees. Come on, you deserted island down us. We got bags full of decorations. We might miss Christmas after we know it, but we can have it right here. We can't believe what's happening. Now there will be Christmas cookies decorated by Christmas Eve. Stockings hung, presents wrapped, sitting around our Christmas tree. Now we'll know what Christmas Day will bring. You know, this might <laughs> You know, this might not have been where you wanted to spend Christmas, but this might be the best Christmas I've had in years. I bet you've been kinda lonely. Boy have I. For the longest time I did a Christmas gift exchange. Stopped doing it a few years back though. I kept getting the same gift every year. Johnny, do you have any idea where we are? Afraid not. But there can't be that many islands out here, can there? Chloe, this is Christmas Island, where we were. This is the cruise ship, and I think this is us. So we're castaways on an uncharted island? But these islands are legendary. I suspect we shipwrecked on one of the fabled ice cream islands. You mean we're stranded on a desert island? All right, Captain, our shelter is complete on time and under budget. Built it completely from the wood that washed up on shore. I'll miss the mango. She was a strong little boat. Look, I found more mangoes. Yay! This is all well and good. But we can't just sit here. We gotta find a way to save ourselves. Look, we have to face facts. There's 100 miles of empty sea around us. 
We have no way to save ourselves. Since we're all here, and we got this place decorated for Christmas, and we even have a brand new audience, why don't we give a little taste of the Christmas show? It all begins long, long ago. God has promised rescue, and the people are waiting, waiting for the promised rescue to come. declares the Lord, as I will rise up for David, a righteous branch. Wow, I never thought of the Christmas story being a rescue story. The prophets foretold the coming Messiah, but then God was silent for 400 years. But many still think that God's promise was to send a rescuer, and they kept waiting and watching for the coming Messiah. Well, and speaking of waiting and watching, I finally got a good signal fire going. Search planes could see this for miles. They've got to keep it burning night and day. And now the fire's out. Firefighters are back. Great, Great job, job, firefighters. Way to go. Not to complain, but that was our signal fire. Sorry, it's just a reflex. We see a fire, we put it out. You travel in your fire clothes? You didn't think we'd leave them at home, did you? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. We got all the bags from the SS Mango off the beach, and everybody has theirs. Wait, even the mime! Does she think she's pulling a real rope? Speak up, we can't hear you. I speak mom, I'll translate. There's trouble. Billy is on the other beach. 
This is going to plant fescue. Fescue? Isn't that a type of grass? Wait, no. He has a plan to rescue us. He took 50 balloons. 50 balloons? From the decorations, he filled them with hot air. Says he's going to float to civilization to get help. The balloons will only take him over the ocean before he falls. You all keep doing what you were doing. I'll go stop Billy and bring him back. I'll go with you. So we left off where God's people were, were waiting for 400 years. And I thought I was waiting a long time to be rescued, but 400 years? This, this is just like our Christmas show. The prophet Isaiah said the people, the angels showed up near Bethlehem announcing that the promise one had just been born. The angel told the shepherd, do not be afraid. I bring good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there's with the angel multitude praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth uh, peace, goodwill toward men. Luke 2, 12 through 14. You know, I learned all that when I was little, but I haven't thought about any of it in a long time. Like the angel said to the shepherds, Johnny, this is good news for all the people, including Johnny Coconut. I'd like to believe that, but I think I'm like some of those people that maybe God had forgotten about them for all these years, maybe because of all the rotten things I've done. Maybe I didn't deserve for God to rescue me. Oh, no, Billy! That boy's as messed up as a kite in a hailstorm. Billy, you look... Fabulous, doesn't he, everybody? What happened to him? We didn't get there before he lifted off. We weren't able to stop him. I was sure the balloons would take me 100 miles. How far did they take you? About 100 feet. He must have been half a mile up into the sky. Wouldn't even have seen him if he hadn't been carrying a flashlight. The flashlight was for signaling airplanes. He only got about 20 yards offshore before the balloon started popping. You're lucky they, they, you're lucky they all didn't go at once. Well, it is a good try, Billy. Yeah, that's right, Billy. Billy, Billy, we're almost to a climatic world at our Christmas show. Why don't you settle in and join us? Okay, I'm afraid all my plans to save us have fallen flat anyway. 
Well, then you might like this story, Billy. It seems that God is in the rescue business when it doesn't happen all as we're expecting. What do you mean? Well, people are lost in darkness, just like us. God was promising a savior, but they had to wait. An angel appeared to a young girl, Mary, and said that this long-awaited baby would be born, and she would name him Jesus. When he was born, Mary and Joseph were far from home, just like us. Angels filled the sky and told some simple shepherds that their savior had been born in Bethlehem. Listen, we're going to need a bit of help for this next song. What do you need? We need you three firemen to put on these robes. You'll be our shepherds. Captain, you, Logan, and Jasmine will be our sheep, cow, and donkey. Trent and I will be Joseph and Mary. Joseph and Mary. Oh, and Billy, you should be the angel. Pretend you're up in the sky with a bright light. I think I can pretend that. Perfect. This will be just like the bitch on the old tide. And it came to pass as the angels went up into heaven, the shepherds told one another, Let us go unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, and the Lord hath made known unto us. Luke 2, 15. concerning this child and all that heard it wondered at the things that were told them by the shepherds Luke 2 17 through 18 an awesome rescue story right there. Even if we don't get off this island, I'm so glad you guys came. Look! What is it? It's a bright light in the sky. Another angel announcement? This is just like our Christmas show. The prophet Isaiah said, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness have seen a light that is dark. Or maybe a star? Like the wise men when they came to see Jesus when he was born, asking, where is the one that has been born to be king of the Jews? We saw the 
star and come to worship. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a star. It's a helicopter. Are you from the SS Mango? Yes, yes, I'm the captain. We got hit by a storm and ran aground on this island. A lot of people back on the Yuletide are going to be very relieved. Ellen was raised that they were praying for you to return, even the mine. Thanks for rescuing us. Yeah, we tried everything we could think of, but just couldn't save ourselves. We're glad we found you. Yeah. I count one extra. Oh, that extra one's me. I got lost a long time ago. Well, I got lost before you were born, I suspect. Johnny Coconut, nice to meet you. No way, how long have you been here? These are just biblical costumes. We've been helping with their hearts. Well, why don't you all pack your things? We'll fly you back to the Yuletide. I'm sure there's going to be an even bigger Christmas Eve party tonight. So what made you search all the way out here? The captain said we were too far off. What, you? We weren't searching over here. What? We're still not sure of the pilot. No, this is way out of our search area. How'd you see us? Our signal fire went out. We're still not sure of the pilot's where she saw a flashlight in the sky and a bunch of balloons. Well, what do you know? <laughs> we'll hoist you up one at a time. Another thrilling ride with no additional cost. Come on, everybody. We'll have you on board in no time. Come on, everybody. Back to the Yuletide. We have quite a story to tell. Got a message for the whole world to hear, the whole world to hear, the whole world to hear. We've got a message for the whole world to hear. We want the whole world to hear it now. Christmas I'd never forget when I got rescued. Oh, 
I don't just mean from the island. I'm afraid I have forgotten the real good news of Christmas, the good news for the good news of great joy for all the people, until those castaways reminded me. The good news is that God sent his son Jesus to rescue us from our sins, and he was the only one who could do it. That baby grew up to be a man who lived a sinless life. He died on the cross and rose from the grave. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. See, it's just like those helicopter rescuers told us. We'll save you, but you got to hold on tight. The birth of Jesus was such good news for all, for all the people that because of if anyone took him in, hold in faith would be rescued from sin and death. Oh, sorry, I got to run. I helped the captain rebuild the SS Mango, and we're running excursions to that famous island where the rescue story happened. Hey, you feeling like a Christmas cruise? Come on, let's go. Mm-hmm.